hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is nilo today's video is going to be on six pieces skirt i already have a, a video on this channel on six pieces skirt but that one is quite technical and so many people don't understand it i received some comments that is difficult to understand i don't understand this and that so i decided to make another one and actually um this is going to be only cutting video i'm not going to be sewing it because i'll be sewing it at night this work is actually an urgent work so but i want to use the opportunity to show you guys how to cut the easiest six pieces skirt this tutorial is beginners friendly so if you want to see how to sew this six pieces skirt please check the other video i'm going to link it on the description description below so check that video the sewing process is the same but the cutting pattern is different okay so but this one is the easiest you can ever find is beginners friendly okay so hmm so guys hmm, this is the second time i'm making this video today i made the first one and there was a mistake i've even edited and added voice to it and there was a mistake so i decided not to upload it i decided to do another one instead of, instead of me to delete it before making another video i did not delete it and i make this one now put voice edit everything i uploaded instead of uploading this one i uploaded the wrong one thanks to blessing ahala please sorry if i am not pronouncing your surname well i'm grateful for your observation please thank you very much so i had to take down the video and redo voice to this one so that in case if you watch the other one you should know that there was a mistake there and this is the correct one okay so <laughs> imagine if i had cut that first one on the fabric directly and this is an urgent work i needed to sew it this night that is why i cut it with pattern paper to cross check it that is why i always like to use pattern paper when i'm doing an urgent work guys it's always good to use pattern when you're doing an urgent work if not there we will like and buy the material and uh, barrier clothes we are one here guys please if you watch that first video is wrong this is the correct one that's why i had to redo voice on this one okay so this sketch as you can see we have three panel okay three at the front and three at the back making it six panel okay and here we have band you can use two inches on 1.5 inch for your band but for this particular sketch i'm not using band i will show you how to use your band too for this you need your round waist round hip full length of the skirt the skirt the knee length which is here this breaking point is your knee length okay that is all you need for this skirt so guys we need eight inches for the sewing allowance of this skirt we'll be joining here with one inch and here with one inch that means half inch here, half inch here, one inch for this panel half inch here, half inch here, one inch for this panel same goes to the back too okay so and the side we need two inches on this side and two inches on this other side making it four so four plus four is now eight hope you understand that okay so to cut this you need your highest measurement which is the hip circumference okay and the hip 36 plus eight inches will give us 44 44 divided by six because we have six panels here will give us 7.3 guys that is where the mistake came from i did not divide the 7.3 into two when i was cutting the first one because i was rushing and the fabric is on food the paper was on food <laughs> i used the 7.3 and everything was too big i was like ah, ah, why is this thing big anyway let me be going sha. <laughs> so guys let's start cutting okay and um you're going to see the other video sha. i'm going to kind of put a little so that you see how wide that one was so for here i'll be using 10 inches for the a line here on fold so when you open it's going to be 20 so you can use 10 you can use 8 you can use 12 depending on your availability of the fabric and also how full you want it okay so as you can see my paper is on fold and this is 10 like i said when you open it it's going to be 20 okay so you can use eight you can use um 12 depending on how full but this one 10 is actually okay most people use eight but 10 is okay so guys this is my waistline here so if you're using band you'll be putting your tape minus two on the waistline if you're using minus two 
okay you place two on the waistline like this if you're using minus 1.5 you do the same and then you take all your straight measurement let me use that word okay like your hip line your knee line and the length of the skirt remember to add two inches sewing allowance folding allowance to the length of your skirt so if you're using length 40 make it 42 two inches for your folding allowance okay so that is what i'm going to do for this so it's going to be 42 all right and the length of this paper is 40 actually but when cutting it on the material i'll add the extra two inches okay so that is what we are going to do now so now <laughs> i'm going to mark the hip point or the hip line which is eight inches if you are very tall you can use nine inches but for this client i'm using eight inches for her so this is the um, hip line i'm going to connect that with a straight line like this okay so and the next is going to be the knee line which is the 18 inches like i said before i am not using band for this that is why i'm taking my measurement directly from the waist okay so here i'm marking 18 for the knee line all right so i'm going to connect that okay so now let's um, mark what we calculated so as you can see what we have here is 7.3 so we'll be dividing it by two because the fabric or the paper is on fold mind you you can cut directly on your fabric okay so what i got was 3.65 okay so you can either use 3.65 or 3.7 but i got 3.65 and that is what i'm going to use not 3.7 3.65 or 3.7 whatever you get that is what you're going to be marking all right so here on the hip line i'm going to mark the 3.7 or 3.25 here so the mistake i made earlier was i marked 7.3 directly and the measurement was so big okay so you divide by two because your fabric is on fold so i'm marking 3.25 and 3.65 here now and i'll do the same on the waistline don't worry i'll show you how to have shape your skirt okay you may be wondering why i use the same measurement on the waist so here i'll minus one inch from what i marked so i'll be marking 2.65 here all right on the knee line i'll mark 2.5 2.65 okay so i minus one inch from the measurement okay so i'm going to connect them like this then on the hip line i'm going to come down by two inches just to get a nice shape okay so i came down by two inches on the hip line to get a nice curve so i'm going to connect that down to the knee line where i marked the 2.65 okay so from this breaking point i'm going to take it down to the hemline okay i'm going to mark it down from here down to this point okay so as i was saying before i use the same measurement on the hip line and also on my waistline i will show you how to shape at the end of this video okay so you're going to curve or place your ruler like this and then you connect it down to the hemline like this okay so as you can see our skirt is out <laughs> so i'm going to cut it now if you're new to my channel you're welcome please hit on the subscribe button below it's free and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time i upload new video please like share share this video and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and also leave a comment below okay so that i'll take correction okay so just leave a comment below for me thank you okay guys so after cutting we are going to use this panel to cut the remaining six panel you see how easy this tutorial is this particular method is we'll use this particular one to cut six panel exactly the same but first of all you're going to cut only four to join with this one making it five and then the back pieces is different because of the zipper allowance that's the center back 
is different because of the zip allowance so this is how it looks when you open it up so we use this to cut another four to join with this one making it five panel and then we'll cut the center back then we'll add our zip allowance okay so i'll show you now how to cut the center back with this particular one all right so that is what i'm going to do now we'll cut fold our fabric and cut the center back with this um, particular one okay guys now i folded another paper to cut the back panel so as you can see that and here i added one inch for zipper allowance you can use 1.5 here okay i use one inch and i added it from the waistline down to the knee I'm sorry down to the hemline okay you add one inch or 1.5 whatever sewing allowance you want to use okay so that is the only difference in this tutorial which is the back panel because the back center back is two pieces because of the zipper allowance all right so guys after this you're going to just trace this out okay you just trace the side the side should be exactly the same i'm using my rulers to hold it because of breeze so you trace this side out exactly the same all right so i'm going to do the cutting now guys i'm done cutting it so remember to notch your zipper allowance okay so i'm going to notch the zip allowance now okay remember to always notch your zipper allowance so that you will not take more than what you added or less than what you added all right so notch your zip allowance before sewing okay so now i'm going to notch the new breaking point to the knee line so that when you are sewing it you make sure you join them together to get a perfect fit for your skirt okay so now i'm going to open this zipper allowance up now all right guys i'm done opening it so now i'm going to show you how to join this together all right so this is actually um two pieces for the center back as you can see it's bigger than the other ones because of the zipper allowance okay so i'm going to show you how you will um, join this so first of all you're going to mark out your zipper allowance <clears throat> okay look this is how it looks like okay i'm trying to show you how it looks like after um cutting okay so now I'm just going to fold the two together like this because this is how you're going to be joining it, okay? So, what you're going to do now is you mark out your zipper allowance, your zip length, okay? Skirt zip length is usually 7 inches to 8 inches. So, this I'm going to be using 7 inches long, okay? So, I'm going to mark tick on 7 here, okay? so um now you're going to sew from this your zipper allowance you're going to sew you're not going to sew this particular place now so this is here is where your zip is going to end from the up so you sew from here down to the hemline with the sewing allowance you added the 1.5 inch or one inch you added and then you just add your zip here and that is all for the back panel okay that is all for the back panel so let me show you how to join them together okay so let's assume you have joined your zipper for the back and you join this with this with half half inch that is one inch and you also join the other side okay half inch one inch half half inch one inch then you join let's assume you've joined them together okay so i will show you how to shape your skirt so you do the same for the back and the front like i said i have a another tutorial on this channel you can check that out to see how to sew your skirt the sewing process is the same it's just the cutting that is different but if not the sewing is the same i remember that you're cutting your lining exactly the same way you cut your fabric your lining and your fabric should be the same and you join the lining and the 
the way you join the fabric and then you now turn it with your uh, fabric you turn the your fabric with your lining so it still is the same thing okay so i will show you how to shape your skirt so guys i'm using the old video <laughs> so this is one of the panel of the old one as you can see it's very big so i'm just going to show you how to shape so let's assume we've joined all the three panels together and then let's say that we are working with waist 20 so 20 divided by 2 is 10 okay you remember when shaping your skirt is or your dress anything you are shaping is divided by 2 so 20 divided by 2 is 10 all right then i'm going to check here whatever i have left here what i have left here is 5 so i'm going to divide it into 2 so i'm going to mark 2.5 inch on both sides okay so here i'll be marking 2.5 inch and this other place i'll mark 2.5 inch too okay as you can see the you've gotten your waist measurements all right so on the hip line this is the hip line here let's say i'm working with hip 26 26 divided by 2 will give us 13 so i'll just take my 13 here so this is my 13 here i'm going to take my 13 here okay so i'm going to check what i have left there so what i have left here is two so i'll divide it into two i'll mark one inch here and one inch on this other side all right so as you can see I am going to shape the skirt right now. Okay. Okay, so I'll shape the skirt like this. You just take it down to the hemline. Okay. You just take it down to the hemline. All right, as you can see, the shape of the skirt is out. The waist is now tiny and the hip curve is showing now, okay? So that is how to shape your skirt. So forget about cutting it exactly. I mean, using the same measurement for the waist or for the hip on the waist, okay? So that is all about this tutorial. Guys, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you've not done so, hit the like button, subscribe. See you in my next tutorial, guys. Bye.